One of the biggest lies that our capitalist society has taught us is that if you're not the best, then you're a failure. And there's no reason to think that way. There's no reason to think that because you're not the best person out there that you're a failure, because that means that statistically, more people are doomed to be failures than not. It means that by the nature of math, it is impossible for everybody to be successful or for most people even to be successful. By the standard that you have to be the best in order to be successful, the majority of people are going to end up being failures. Just by the nature of math, because there's always going to be somebody better than you. The goal is not to be the best. The goal is to figure out what your dreams are, what your goals are, and to figure out what success looks like for you. That is so much more important than trying to be better than somebody else, right? Because that's a, that's a futile goal. And ultimately it doesn't help you accomplish what you actually want to accomplish. If you're trying to be better than someone, then you're doing so much to compete instead of trying to figure out like what you actually want to accomplish and then working to accomplish it. It is ridiculous. Comp competition is ridiculous and futile. <laughs> what the hell even makes someone the best who gets to judge that and by what standards? Usually how much money they make. That's generally it's determined by how much money someone makes. If you make more money, you're considered better. You're considered more successful, regardless of how ethical the way that you make money actually is. Regardless of whether or not you actually bring something to the world that benefits people, that doesn't matter. It's all about how much money you make. If I invent something, if I invent something that helps a million people, but I give it away for free, I lose a lot of money and therefore it is unsuccessful, right? It is not profitable and therefore I am looked at as a stupid person for giving it away for wasting it, right? But if I take a product that can help a lot of people and I sell it to a hundred thousand people instead of giving it away to a million, that becomes super efficient. It becomes super profitable. And therefore a society sees that as more successful. How messed up is that chat?